I was about to start the vlog just now and I was going to say we've got a chilled vlog today just a nice little relaxed one and then I was like how long has it even been since my vlogs weren't chilled and weren't just relaxed my entire YouTube channel this year is all just about relaxed chill everyday vlogs and I'm loving it this coffee is actually delicious anyways how have you been what have you been up to let me know down below in the comments as you know recently I'm spending so much more time at the moment in the comments. If you look down below, I've probably replied to a bunch of them because I'm just really enjoying it. Just really enjoying chatting and getting to know the people that watch these videos a little bit more. I'm enjoying putting a question on the screen at the end of each vlog at the moment and having you guys all answer it and then seeing everyone chat between each other and like talk about each other's answers and stuff and I'm getting involved. It's really nice. Um, so let me know how you are and I'll jump in and I'll bounce back and chat with you. This is actually the first time that I'm vlogging in about 10 days or so. For the last week I've like just felt so rough felt so so weak so tired so ill I've had a really sore throat don't worry I've done a million tests it is not the vid just had something don't know what it was but just had to let it like take me down and do slightly less for like a week or so get as much sleep as I possibly could eat really good and I'm feeling a lot better now which is nice because I've missed filming I've, I don't think I've even posted on my Instagram stories in like a week either let me check the time actually because we're about to head out and meet Pop and Sean and my mum and dad and go for a little countryside walk. So many friends warned me about just how long it takes to leave the house when you have little ones. I thought I knew, oh how wrong I was. Of course, I've got to come back to the house to get this little thing. And apparently we need the muffs that go around the pram. Can you get me the chewing gum please? And the chewing gum. Anything else whilst I'm here? I'm just vlogging, letting everyone know just how long it takes to leave the house. Well, especially when someone sneaks back inside to vlog. No, to bloody vlog. I've got to get the pram, the pram suit, Nala's lead, Nala's treats, her poo bags, toys for the pram. Have you got the house keys? That was a close call. I legit reckon it would have been quicker to pack a suitcase to go away than do what we've just done. This bit. And go there. I think that is everything. Yeah, it's like a game of Tetris. Are we ready? Yeah. Do you have her lead? Yeah. Only 23 minutes late. That's, that's not our fault. That's <laughs> whose fault is that if it's not uh, ours? I just had to wake Otty up from a nap. What? So it's Otty's fault we're late. Yeah. You're blaming Otty but us being 23 minutes late. We would still be in the house if I didn't wake her up. Well, yeah, but we could have woken <laughs> her up earlier.
finish up. We finished that lovely little walk. Do you mind if I open this? Yeah. Is and that going to disturb we... your camera? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly took the camera out. Oh and now we've just God. come out to the garden centre and we've dropped Nala home, switching up from the, the buggy to a little front holder. Ooh. Wow, see. Ah, I want this last. This is Otty's favourite part of the garden centre, looking at the uh, tropical fish. I'm looking at them. Can you see all the fishies? Yeah. Zoe and Sean have found a fish that they think we should buy dad. Yeah, because he's got a massive fish tank. He just needs to come home. Albino tiger Guys, Oscar. 20, 30 to 40 centimetres. Yeah, that's long. amazing. <laughs> no, that's too big. No, it's not. For a 30 centimetre, that's a ruler. Yeah, I know how big it is. It would eat the entire rest of that's the fish. That's a good tank. idea. <laughs> no. The more he eats, the bigger he gets. How big do these get? Is it a shark? Let's get a little shark. That one goes to albino, albino redfin shark. 15. Yeah, come on. One little. 15's too big. That's like this long. We've opted for no fish. The one we wanted gets way too big. That white one was so cool. Obviously, it would just, just take over the tank. tank. Yeah. It would just eat every other fish if we got in there. He needs an upgrade. What have you found? That's what you wanted. A big oh, fire pit. pit. So that is quite a good size one. And something to cook on top. Little cooking bit. That's quite a good size. Not this one. That's too big. What's or this fine? one. Bought myself some lunch from the garden centre. I've got, well I actually bought two sandwiches and I've split half and half with Zoe. One is egg and cress and the other is a sausage and caramelised onion. You just can't beat a good garden centre sandwich. Like the chunkiest, thickest white bread. Say I love you. Otto. <coughs> Nearly. I love you. <coughs> what an unbelievable early evening sky. Looks so nice. The camera doesn't even pick up half of what it looks like in real life. Like this gradient is crazy. What are you barking at? Hey, don't scare the birds away. Just popping my camera back down where I kicked off the video. To talk to you about today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. As I'm sure you know, if you've watched my videos for a couple of years or more now, I'm a massive advocate for having therapy sessions if you're in the position to be able to do so. And I've always been incredibly open and spoken in videos about how I've been seeing a therapist for probably over three years now, maybe even four years, most weeks. And it's never been about anything in particular, but more just overall mind management and bettering the way in which I do different things in my life. So BetterHelp offers worldwide online counseling and therapy services that are provided through web-based interaction as well as phone and text. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp has over 20,000 licensed professionals on their network, so it is an incredibly quick process for you to be matched up with your own licensed professional. You're not only able to book weekly sessions with your therapist, which is like what I do with my therapist, but with BetterHelp you're also able to text your therapist at any time that suits you, which I can imagine being a massive benefit. It is more affordable than traditional offline therapy and there is financial aid available, which is massive. That is so important. The fact that therapy is becoming more accessible to more people, that is the most important thing. So if you go to the link down below, betterhelp.com forward slash Alfie, that's better, H-E-L-P, 
forward slash Alfie, you'll get 10% off your first month. Definitely keep me up to date with how you find it and I hope it helps, I hope it helps a lot of you out. It's currently a couple of hours later. We've given Otti a bath and popped her to bed. I'm currently laying on the sofa, my standard Saturday night, having a little browse of social media and also at the same time reading my Kindle. Still absolutely obsessed with this. Not being very well this week has just tired me out so much. I feel like my energy levels at the moment are super low. <laughs> Good morning again. Kind of forgot to end off the vlog properly yesterday. In the evenings, I'm just so tired. And for some reason in my head, I think I'm going to carry on vlogging. Like, I don't know how I've convinced myself that I still somehow think that I'm going to be vlogging late into the evenings and not realising that I now go to bed so bloody early. Like, I'm in bed sometimes, and I'm not even joking. And if you're an old school viewer, this will shock you. Because I used to go to bed at, like, minimum 3 a.m. I'm in bed sometimes now at, like, quarter to ten. Like quarter to ten, I'm in bed. I'm asleep sometimes by 10 p.m. That's the new flex. When I was younger, it was all about staying up as late as you possibly can at sleepovers and stuff with friends. Now what impresses me is a good sleep routine. If you're getting your eight hours sleep a night, you're waking up feeling refreshed. I mean, I don't even know what that is anymore. I haven't felt that feeling in bloody about six months. But if that's you, that's the biggest flex possible. You know when you have to set your alarm when you go on a holiday and you have to wake up in the middle of the night? That's literally how I feel today. Other than when you feel that feeling, you get to go on holiday. Whereas um, I'm not doing that today. So I've driven to Starbucks first thing this morning. I don't ever drink drinks like this. I normally, if I ever go to Starbucks, I normally just go straight up like a flat white or a latte or something. I said to the staff in there today, I am tired. I need some sugary, chocolatey, mocha, frappuccino. Give me everything you got. I'm whacking some caffeine in there. And this is what I've got here, which I think is like a double chocolate cookie, whipped cream, caffeine. I don't even know. Hopefully it gives me the energy I want. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. That's not real, that's not real life. That's actually not real life. I also got Zoe her white chocolate with a shot of peppermint. The team said to me this morning they were freestyling, like making their own drinks, and one of them came up with a hubba bubba, which isn't on the menu, she just made it up. And they were all talking about it, saying how good it was and that she wanted to make me it. Mmm. They said to me that it was like a mocktail, and it does taste like that. Whoa, I don't even know what's in that. That's great. And then I've also got the old puppuccino, which I never order. But every time, the lovely woman behind behind the till always says, you forgot a drink. And I'm like, oh, did I? And then she's like, Nala's drink. And she always makes me a little puppuccino, which is like whipped cream in a cup for Nala. Always, every time. You having your little Starbucks, mate? I don't think it helps that she's a pug, because look how much she has to stick her face in there. You'll have to like, keep squeezing it. Oh yeah, good point. You right over there, noisy girl? Are you having fun in your bouncer? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just in the best mood? Are you a bit dribbly? We need to watch Finding Nemo with her. <gasps> Should we do that today? Should we watch Nemo? Uh. Yeah, should we watch this guy? Shall we? You're about to just tip it out on the floor. Nah, I should you tooled up. It's just, oh my god, Nala. I just think.
I've just realized that I haven't filmed anything since picking up the Starbucks this morning. It's been one of those Sundays when you decide to rejig your entire house and like try and tidy everything in one go. So I'm just putting the pram in the boot at the same time. So it's been a really productive Sunday other than filming. So apologies for that. Well, that wouldn't have been too much fun to film anyway because it was literally just Zoe and I sweating, running around the house, moving all the random piles. Like I, ha I had a pile of presents. Yeah, I've got a key. I had a pile of presents, this is bad, from Christmas that I still hadn't put away from my parents. Just been explaining what we've been doing today. Sorting. A big old, a big old sort out day. I've just realized that we're going on the exact same walk that we went on probably eight minutes ago in my vlog. Yeah. But this time instead of with Poppy and Sean, my mum and dad, we're going with your mum. Tracy also just arrived at the house a couple of hours ago and is staying with us for the next couple of days, which will be lovely. Everyone else is wearing much more sensible clothes than me, like coats. I've literally I'm wearing all white and I haven't even got a t-shirt on. You're gonna be absolutely freezing. I say this to you all the time. Alfie lives in different seasons to what the seasons actually are. Graham, Graham, the Graham wears shorts all the time, doesn't he? You want to show everyone your little fringe? You got your favourite? Oh, you're giving him a kiss. Earlier on in the vlog, I was speaking about just how early I go to bed nowadays. The time is currently... Oh, you can't see. 8.48 in the evening. I'm knackered. I'm not even joking you, I'm so tired. Otty's in bed, fast asleep. Tracy's in bed. Zoe's in bed. I've spent a bunch of time after dinner this evening editing up this video. So I've done all of yesterday, which was Saturday. And then I'm gonna, before I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna edit up everything that I filmed today. So that, fingers crossed, this vlog can go up tomorrow, which will be Monday. I don't think I've got much else to say. I think I'm too tired to even think straight. I just wanna crack on with the edit of this video. As with all my vlogs at the moment, I'm gonna put a question on the screen in a second at the end. I would love if you took the time to, to drop a comment down below with your answer. Also, feel free to drop the video with a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. It only takes a second of your time. If you wanna check out my clothing brand, Future Self, the tracksuit that I've been wearing today, I'll leave a link down below as well. And of course, there'll be a link as well for better help. And I'll catch you soon with a new vlog. Appreciate you watching.